Looking at the exponential growth in our country in terms of moving towards the Atmanirbhar Bharat in defense, there are some challenges as well. So when we are looking at leadership position in defense domain and making India a defense hub, defense manufacturing hub, you need the human resources, right from conceptualizing the future technologies, design, development, prototype evaluation, testing, certification, and also the manufacturing and after sales support. You need the whole life cycle support from mine to market, and then subsequently as well. So you need knowledgeable, trained, skilled people, human resource. So that's a big challenge. So the DRDO has really taken a very good initiative in terms of starting a MTech defense technology program which is in fact aimed towards addressing this issue in a way. So many universities, I think about 16 universities in the country have started the program and Amity University is the first one with 100 students admitted to this program, MTech Defense Technology with six verticals, combat vehicles, aerospace, naval systems, directed energy weapons, high energy materials, and also sensors and communications. So this is a big effort Amity University has started and then now you need to also train them. So the dissertation for the master's program is one year on a real time project in a defense industry or at the DRU laboratory. So this makes them not only knowledgeable, but skilled to work on a project. How do you design a project? How do you develop a system or a subsystem or a component or a device? So all this they learn by doing, not just by classroom teaching. So this is the uniqueness of the program is that one year project work of the dissertation in the second year in the DRDO lab or defense industry. So I think this is one good effort, but then it's not sufficient you know, because you need uh, the defense corridors coming up and defense manufacturing sector in private as well as PSUs, you need skilled manpower. So that is why the requirement in multiples. So this effort is one. I would suggest even to start BTEC program in defense technology. Why, why do we start only masters? Because these are brilliant youngsters. You give them the basic, the mechanical, electronic, civil, and uh, the, all those emerging technologies, AI, ML, DL, data analytics, and so on, quantum technologies. But then build on a vertical, one of the six vertical which I mentioned, could be aerospace, or it could be emerging technologies. So I think that is the way you should build a larger horizontal growth of human resource, starting undergraduate program in defense technology, focusing on aerospace and other areas. So this is, I think, one of the suggestions which I would look at. Then also make them not just only fill the gap of looking at what is today requirement. Look at futuristic, 10 years hence, what the country will require, the defense sector will require. So somebody should be looking at that future, 10 years, 20 years, then we assume leadership role in defense domain. So that also should happen in the universities. Universities should become the cradle of innovation for defense. That's what I said. The, you need people at different domains, even for certification, for example, you need, and quality control, quality assurance. So you need to have the complete spectrum of people. There could be some scientists. So you need brilliant scientists. So uh, the DRDO is now grooming and also universities should churn out. So they will conceive the future equipments and also the design development, all this whole thing, you need the right kind of manpower. We should also look at collaborations because some of the universities outside like MIT, Caltech, UCLA, or uh, other university, Technion. So we should tie up with them, learn from the best practices there. What, how, do, how do they groom these people? then I would see the battlefield, the emerging battlefield where these people will be employed. People in uniform, people not in uniform, but civilians, blending seamlessly as a civil military fusion. So you need to groom one side, the military people in uniform to use these technologies and the decision support will come from the civilian who could be even a school student coming for hacking a system and he will go back. So you will have such kind of blending of uh, the profile of the armed forces, future armed forces would be that people in uniform and people not in uniform supporting the commanders and the field commanders, giving the decision support using data analytics, AI, 
ML, DL, all those support will, or the cyberspace, what they need to do, cybersecurity, all that will come from them, not the people who are in uniform. So this is what I would perceive in the next 10 years. You will have a different kind of armed forces where you require people to do this, the second part, civilians. So for which you need to train the human resource who will seamlessly blend with operational part of the uh, military. I must compliment uh, the Economic Times for this great initiative to bring best brains from the defense sector, both from the industries. I am so happy to see uh, the private industries coming in a big way. Not only LNT, Tata's, Mahindra, Godridge, Reliance, uh, Paris, and uh, uh, Astra. There are many, many industries coming in. And also many startups coming in defense sector. It is out of that almost one lakh startups which are there, close to one lakh. Now, most of them now, they are also shifting towards it, seeing the defense corridor coming up and defense investment going up from the major industry. So all this would, would augment uh, the Atmanirbhar Bharat, the efforts of our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modiji, and also the armed forces now showing a positivity for induction of indigenous system. So that's a big change, paradigm change. Because earlier, the confidence level on indigenous technologies, products, systems, system of systems was not as high as what it is today. So that is why this change and the industries coming up in a big way in the private sector, not only the big industries, the MSMEs, startups. So this is going to be the defense manufacturing hub in over a period of time. I have no doubt about it. <music>